So for today, we're going to be looking at Ada 1 and Eververse in that order. Usually we do this at the beginning of the week, so they, you, that way you guys are aware of what is up. And if you guys don't see this video, don't worry, we usually do a end of the week video as well. So that way you guys can see Ada 1, Banshee, Eververse, and Zer as well. So don't worry, this is one is not required. I do think the last call video is definitely required though. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So first and foremost, let's look at the fit for the video. This is an old set that I made, I think, when the Armory Exhibition ornament came out. And I tweaked it a little bit uh, more so just the shader. But for the Arms Antique Filigree, this is the ornament that comes with Armory Exhibition. Uh, Nimi and Cures, Unyielding Favor Strides, and then Ephrodite's Iron Cloak. So I really like Nimi and Cures with the Unyielding Favor just because the material looks exactly the same. So that's literally one of like my biggest things. And there's belts as well that goes really well with the belts in the, off in the waist. And yeah, I think this one's really good. Obviously donning brilliance is because the gems on the legs don't change color and I wanted to not fight that. And I definitely think this one is really, really cool. If you did want to switch it up, you can definitely put some more chain mail if you wanted. So like this one, uh, this, this one, this one and then the boots i think this one yeah so this is a lot of chain mail the boots i mean pretty much everything but the helmet has has chain mail and even the shadering looks really good because uh, the problem with the ld unyielding favor is the chain mail is a different color than this one and this one and usually this one as well so this is actually really decent i actually really like this set a lot um, i would probably just do this yeah, this, this actually looks really, really, really cool. Um, that looks pretty cool as well, but yeah, I'd probably just do this one. This one looks really cool. So let me know what you guys think about the fit. As for Ada, uh, let's go look at the shaders. Vitrified Duality, it's one of my favorite shaders just because uh, the glow on it's really, really good. Actually, let me just switch out the helmet so that way you guys can see the glow. Not that uh <clears throat> yeah because the glow is really 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 cool so yeah the glow is a purple which i really really like it's a very like saturated purple as well so if you want to lean into like a really saturated purple glow definitely get vitrified duality we have new pacifica sync worn this is from vanilla destiny 2 technically and i say technically because i don't remember the worn set being sold so this is really cool definitely a really cool shader if you want to have a a guardian that looks like they actually live in the world and not like a pristine art uh, color set because that that is one of my biggest pet peeves is that the shaders sometimes look a little too pristine for the world that this guardian lives in and then war call terrain which is i'm not the biggest fan of the yellow or the red that being said i mean i would probably prefer the yellow in there but war cult definitely has better shaders out there so as for the armor sets i'm not going to show them all in the screen because a honestly a lot of this is just cloaks or class items i should say but i will show you the armor pieces because i do think they're pretty cool but i won't go into super detail like i usually do because uh i'll be here for a while so here is the hunter stuff i definitely hate the helmet uh chest piece is pretty interesting i think the cloak is pretty cool that being said it is a, re a good reskin of where are you this one i think that's it it's this one so if you're not in the, if you're not a fan of that definitely don't get it titans i definitely think your chest piece is worth it the helmet is the wakanda forever that's what me and my old clan mates used to call it but scorn baron plate i'm gonna be honest i love this chest piece that being said if you don't have the ornaments for combining with this chest piece it's gonna look pretty meager like meager to be quite honest um and then the mark i if i remember correctly i really like that mark yeah i love this mark this mark is really good for like a casual set and then warlocks i think man that helmet is trash don't pick this helmet up the chest piece though absolutely one of the best chest pieces that the warlocks got it's so so cool that i really would recommend you guys to pick this up because it just looks amazing um and then world yeah the bond is pretty terrible so let me know what you guys are going to be pick, ugh, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from a to one i definitely think the chess pieces is worth it and maybe the wakanda forever helmet's pretty cool but 
yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for Eververse, we have Meditator. Oof. I am not a fan of this shader. We have Gloom Strife. Yeah. We have Vitreous Entrance. And then for ooh, Necrosis, the ornament for Recluse. This is my favorite ornament that the Recluse got. It just looks amazing. Um, hey, I definitely picked this up because it looks really, really cool. And it bulks it out as well. Uh, Sparrow Getaway. Then for the stuff at the bottom, we have the business end for the sweet business, which looks pretty cool. It almost looks cabal themed. It is cabal themed. Okay, that's the for the, the reason I thought it was cabal themed because of this right here. It looks like the scales that the war beasts have. Uh, pinballer. We have Synch synchrotron Ad advancer. This looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Firebreak Shell. We have the Virulent Mask for the Hunters. Trap Setting. And then for the Transmat, we have Ossified Entrance. This, whatever the fuck this says. AI Com Rasputin, maybe? Red, re, re, I don't know. Uh, Vex Invasion, inf uh, they, uh, Vex Invasion Effects. And for the Shaders Growing Guilt. Meh. Boreal Char, which I definitely think is worth a pickup. It's a really good green if you don't have this off-white. Uh, Neopop Wave. This doesn't look bad, man. It looks pretty cool. And then Celestial Dome. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I have a few things that I am currently working on. First and foremost, I think you guys heard about the loadout video that I've been thinking about doing, which it's all of these and making a video on it, just explaining like what the loadout is for, uh, my build for them, and then going into the fashion of it. I've also already uploaded all of the tactical videos. I um, thankfully have finished those videos plus their shorts. And I'm also, so, so I'm also working on getting this stupid armor. I say, I'm, I apologize. I'm just very annoyed with the armor because I have to run a lot of onslaught to get it, like, like a like a baffling amount of onslaught. Like it's it's ridiculous, and I hate it because I'm kind of getting bored of onslaught already. And now I know people are gonna be like, "Well, oh, you gotta stretch it within the week, within the season." I don't no one in destiny 2 ever does that so don't ever tell me that because that's not realistic come on so i've been grinding this out i think the next piece that i'm gonna get is gonna be the warlock helmet so that way i can get the 50s out of the way and then the arms are 40 unfortunately so yeah maybe the helmet so that way i can just complete this i already have sets for all of the classes so i'm really happy about that um, I think the only thing is after this armor is done, I'll probably get back to exotics maybe because I'm just, I'm almost done with them. And then, um, start getting back into the rhythm of like doing the other content that I want to do, like specifically fashion. I also want to review the weapons because Hammerhead is back and this is a fan favorite for good reason. It's a really good LMG and mountaintop midnight coup. For forbearance, which I definitely think is really cool. I know a lot of people don't find the point of forbearance being in there, but I, I think it's really cool because it gives people that don't have uh, the raids a chance to see what the raids can offer, which is super cool. So, yeah, I have a lot of things planned. I just, again, like I said, I have a full time job now, and it's pretty rough managing work and then getting home. And usually I'm exhausted, so I take a nap, and then I usually have like six hours to really make content so i do apologize but i appreciate you guys sticking with me i for some reason the, the channel has been doing really well even though i'm not posting as much but that's probably just i'm probably just overthinking it so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later